But all in vain the quips we heard We lay and sobbed upon the rocks Until to somebody occurred a startling paradox A paradox A paradox A most ingenious paradox We quips and quibbles and in frocks But none to beat this paradox A paradox, a paradox A most ingenious paradox Ha 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 This paradox We knew your taste for curious quips For cranks and contradictions queer And with the laughter on our lips We wished you there to hear We said if we could tell it him How Frederick would the joke enjoy And so we've risked both life and limb To tell it to our boy That paradox, that paradox That most ingenious paradox We quips and quibbles heard in flocks But none to beat this paradox A paradox, a paradox A most ingenious paradox For some ridiculous reason, to which, however, I've no desire to be disloyal, some person in authority, I don't know who, very likely the Astronomer Royal, has decided that although for such a beastly month as February, 28 days as a rule are plenty, one year in every four, his days shall be reckoned as nine and twenty. Through some singular coincidence, I shouldn't be surprised if it were owing to the agency of an ill-natured fairy. You are the victim of this clumsy arrangement, having been born in leap year on the 29th of February. And so, by a simple arithmetical process, you will easily discover that though you've lived 21 years, yet if we go by birthdays, you're only five and a little bit over. <laughs> Ha 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 the ways of paradox and common since she gaily mocks Though counting in the usual way, yes, twenty-one I've been alive Yet reckoning by my natal day Yet reckoning by my natal day I am a little boy of five He is a little boy of five <laughs> Paradox, a paradox, a most ingenious paradox. <laughs>